Oh, remember, don't. Hi, I'm Cookie Masterson, and I'm here to tell you that the book is never better than the movie. All books are terrible. Player one, you think you're real funny, don't you? F me, F you. I'm taking away a thousand bucks. Handle those screws carefully. If you think an opponent doesn't know the answer, hit your screw button and you'll force them to answer immediately. If they miss it, you win big. And today's wrong answer of the game is being brought to you by... Indoor sunglasses. Why wear normal outdoor sunglasses when you're trying to look cool indoors? Why, it's two totally different things. Sniff out our sponsor's wrong answer of the game and you'll end up with a great prize and serious cash. <laughs> so why not get started? Get ready, time for fashion. One. First, waiter, there's a fly in my ascending colon. Say a coroner were to perform an autopsy on the dead body of the old lady from the children's song, there was an old lady who swallowed a fly. What disgusting thing would he probably not find after cutting her stomach open? Partially digested spider bits, chewed up dog chunks, saliva covered pig parts, or horse remains? In the poem, the old lady swallows a spider, a dog, and a horse. Also a bird, a cat, a goat, and a cow. And then she dies. But she never swallows a pig. Because after all, she is still a lady. Here's one for you. It's all fun and games till someone loses a tooth. And it's a this or that. Player 4? Why don't you take this this or that since you need the most help? I'm gonna read off seven names and for each one tell me if it's a Rubik's Cube spin-off toy, you know like Rubik's Tower, a Colgate toothbrush, or both. If it's a Rubik's toy, press the square button. If it's a Colgate toothbrush, press the circle button. If it's both, press X. Now the rest of you should listen carefully. Choose an answer before player four, and if player four gets it wrong, I'll split the cash among everyone who got it right. Cool, let's do it. Twist! Snake! 360! Revolution! Wave! Void! Wisp! Not bad. Unfortunately, I'm all out of sugar-free lollipops, and the sugar ones are mine. The Rubik's Cube actually gave me a great solution for all my unfortunate dental problems. White stickers over my teeth. It's time for music to get lucky to. Why do those two guys in the band Daft Punk wear those giant helmets? To hide their weird Canadian faces? To hide their weird French faces? To hide their weird German faces? Or to hide their weird Irish faces? Players three and four. Uh, no. Player one. Player two. Thomas Bangalter and Guy Mama de Who French stuff blah 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 of Daft Punk are French. And I haven't actually seen their faces, but they must be weird, right? Anyone whose face you never see, gotta have a super weird face. And I should know. Take a good look at Area 151. Suppose U.S. government scientists got confused during the Manhattan Project and instead of an atomic bomb, developed a giant Manhattan. What might the newspaper headlines have read when the weapon was being tested in Nevada? Nevada soaked in vodka. Nevada covered in whiskey. Nevada doused with sake. Or Nevada drenched in... You got it. <laughs> no, you didn't. Player 2? 
Congratulations, not <laughs> Player three. A Manhattan is a drink made with whiskey, vermouth, bitters, and a cherry. <laughs> ah, I say make drinks, not war. Although, another couple drinks and I may want to fight someone. Here's a good one. 15-year-old spoiler alert. What part of the film The Sixth Sense is its denouement? When you find out he was dead the whole time? When he's shot, hinting he'd be dead the whole time? The credits after you... Players one and four? Ooh, ouch. <laughs> Player three? Hey, way to be wrong! <laughs> Player two? The denouement of a story is when the various plot threads are drawn together and explained or resolved, like the reveal at the end of The Sixth Sense, when you learn that Bruce Willis was dead the whole time. And if you get to this game's denouement, you'll find out I've been dead this whole time. Right, Bob? Uh, did anyone hear a noise from the sound booth? The old abandoned one that hasn't been used since the 90s? Nobody? Huh, must have just been my imagination. Wrap up round one, and it looks like player two has the lead, but there's more trivia to come. Don't forget, all the questions around two are worth double. And keep in mind, big cash prizes can be yours if you find the wrong answer of the game. Okay then, here we go. Here we have... You don't know Jack, man. Say Hugh Jackman wanted to increase his value as an actor by altering his hue. In color terms, what would increase his value the most? Lightening the hue of his skin, darkening the hue of his hair, intensifying the hue of his eyes, or adding... Player 3? So wing and the miss! No, no, I'll get this. Value is defined as the relative lightness or darkness of a color or hue. The more light the color, the higher the value. But I don't think Hugh Jackman should lighten his skin. I mean, I like him a lot, but that dude is already one of the whitest people in the world. Enough is enough. Players 1, 2, and 4? There's only one shade to this answer, the wrong shade. Which is great for you because you've just won... This pair of indoor sunglasses from Indoor Sunglasses. Indoor sunglasses are not for outdoor use. If worn outside for periods longer than three minutes, sunglasses may melt in the sun and fuse to your eyes permanently. Do not use indoor sunglasses if you have a history of epilepsy or are pregnant or nursing. Please consult with your doctor to find out if indoor sunglasses are right for you. Today's wrong answer of the game is accompanied by an $8,000 cash bonus. Have at it. Take a stab at buying donuts at Whole Foods. And your money hole will get an extra thousand for a right answer. It's the put the choices into order then buzz in and see if you are right. Question. Put these things in order of fewest to most holes. The Masters Tournament, a recorder, Clyde Barrow's corpse. Alright, player two, let me know who's getting screwed. Player three, you're getting screwed. You got five seconds. Uh, nah. -uh. Player two, you handle that screw very well. Want a little more money? Player one. Um, excuse me. Players two and four. A recorder has seven holes, Clyde Barrow of Bonnie and Clyde officially had 17 bullet holes, and the Masters Tournament, the entire golf tournament, has 72 holes. That earned each of you an extra thousand bucks. I've actually been shot 17 times myself, yet I still keep going back to Florida. Up next, Symbol Simon. Which of these famous emblems resembles a letter in the Norwegian alphabet? Player four, where are you putting that screw? Goodness, player one, you're screwed. You got five seconds to give me an answer. 
Get out of here. Seriously, get out of here. <laughs> Wonderful screwing player for. Let's see if you can make this really hurt. <laughs> Players two, three, and four. The Ghostbuster symbol has a ghost peeking through a circle with a line through it, which is called an O slash in the Norwegian alphabet. <laughs> There's even an O slash in the Norwegian word for ghost. The people of Norway are truly ikke red for nuanspokhelser. <laughs> Pucker up for the angle of my dangle. So for this next question, you're going to need a protractor, a slice of pimento loaf, and... Huh? Oh, pardon me, ma'am. Old man? Let me look where you're going. What the hell are you doing here? Oh, sorry, Corky. I was just lost in thought. There's this thing I just can't remember. It's on the tip of my... Tongue? No, thanks. I just ate. What's that thing? Who's that fella? Where's that screwy up doodly do? It's Foggy Facts with Old Man. Screwy screwy up do? I forget. All right, old man, let's see if we can help. Who is it that you can't remember? Not who, son. What? See, I can picture it, but it's kind of cloudy. You know, like my dead eye. Let's see. Hmm. It was a show on the TV. I think it was about some police people. <laughs> there was a pretty blonde gal in it. And the sergeant fella used to be in outer space. Huh, what was that show? Is it Hill Street Blues, NYPD Blue, TJ Hooker? Oh, player three, who's getting the screw job? Player one, you've been screwed. You got five seconds to pick an answer. <laughs> Superlative use of the screw player three. You want even more cash? <laughs> player two? Oh, the humanity! <laughs> player four? Was it NYPD Blue Old Man? Uh, hmm. uh, uh, nope, don't think it was. <sighs> okay. <laughs> Player three? Was it TJ Hooker, old man? Yes! Oh boy, that was it! Ha <laughs> ha! Yep, my favorite show, TJ Hooker, starring William Shatner. <laughs> That's Shatner, old man. Shatner. Oh, I'm sorry, Corky. Can you smell it? Smell what? What do you thought? Gotta go change my nappy. <laughs> See you later! <laughs> Coming up next, a woman needs a man like a catfish needs a bicycle. Who gets catfished in the French play Cyrano de Bergerac? Cyrano, but player one, who do you want to screw? G player one, did you intend to do that to yourself? Cause now I gotta do this. Can we leave this tragedy behind us please? Players three and four. <laughs> Player two. Wait for it. Wait for it. <laughs> Want to see the answer? Catfishing is wooing someone, usually over the internet, with a false identity. In Cyrano de Bergerac, giant-nosed Cyrano uses his words, but Christian's handsome face to woo the unsuspecting Roxanne. <laughs> It's a great play. I want to watch it with my internet girlfriend, Claudia, but she still can't afford to visit me. I guess I'll have to send her more money. Step right up to the jack attack. When you see two clues that match, press the X button. 2,000 big ones if you're right, but you lose 2,000 if you're wrong. And most importantly, remember the clue. It's gotta be a match that fits this clue. You only live forever once. What made these people immortal? Good luck.
Players on top! Yeah, okay, so you won Player 4, but it's not like you won for the jugular or anything. You really need to own your competitive spirit. Show no mercy, take no prisoners, that kind of thing. This is more like, oh, I'll beat you, but I don't want to offend anyone. Will you still be my friend? What you really should have been saying was... You don't know Jack! Come on down to Barbecue Street all week for some great deals on food and fixings. Mondays, it's 25% off Buffalo Blasted Chicken Wings. Tuesdays, it's 50% off whatever Buffalo Blasted Chicken Wings are left over from Monday. Wednesday, we've got 10% off our famous dry spice ribs. But make sure to come back on Thursday for 60% off a sampler platter of Monday's leftover Buffalo Blasted Chicken Wings and Wednesday's dry spice ribs. Fridays, we kick things up a notch when you can get a free order of Buffalo Blasted Chicken Wings and Dry Spiced Rib Soup just for walking in the door. And you're not going to want to miss Saturdays when we'll give you 10 bucks just to take some of these rotten chicken wings and ribs out of here. You don't even have to eat them. You just have to take them with you. Sundays were closed to hose the blaze down. Barbecue Street. You're probably going to want to come in on Monday. Hi, I'm Tony Panchisi, owner of DIY Spaghetti Emporium, where DIY stands for Do It Yourself. I mean it. I don't have any staff, so you're doing everything in this restaurant for yourself. And my name isn't Tony Pellucci. You're waiting your own table. You're cooking your own meal. And buddy, if you got time to lean, you got time to clean, capiche? So now you think your night's over because your family's done eating, huh? We close at 11.30. So get your ass back out there and wait on that two-top in Section 4. Nobody ducks out early on me. Come on, pedestro. Have you seen the state of those bathrooms? One of the women's toilets has a clog that could choke a horse. So if you're ready for a home-cooked Italian meal and earn half the minimum wage, come on down to DIY Spaghetti Emporium. Ask for me, Rachel Hanrahan. <laughs> 